Greetings, salutations, and all good things in between. What's up, everyone? Matt here. If you use Google Drive as your data source and you've ever uploaded an image or a file inside of a record and then deleted the record, you probably noticed the file in the Google Drive is still there. They don't automatically get deleted. I had a Patreon supporter reach out to me and ask for an easy way to make that happen, so I made a script. I've shared it with everybody inside the scripts folder, inside the shared Patreon folder. In this video, I'm gonna go over how you can implement that inside your app. Thanks for watching. Let's do it. Okay, so it all starts off with, I have an app with some images that I want to delete, right? Okay, so the thing to do is go to automation and create a new bot so I just called mine file cleanup. Um, the trigger event here is on a delete. So whenever some record is deleted from whatever table. So in this case, you can see what I've done is I've got this image prompt table and then I've locked it into where it only runs when there is an image inside the image column. Okay, so if that's true and I'm deleting the record, this kicks off. What does it do? it calls a script okay so come down here make sure that you select the uh the correct table that this needs to run against and then this is where you get into the meat and potatoes right and so when you click on this little file selection thing it brings this up just come up to the search up here and look for file and just start start typing the word delete and then there you go it'll pop up and so this is the one that you'll want to do script called file deleter um, and when you bring that up there's only one thing to really do inside this one and that's the uh, delete file from folder path now there's four arguments that you have to pass to this thing um, one is the starting folder this is the id of the google drive that is the root folder for your app sheet app i built these things to correspond with the very exact way that everything works inside app sheet inside your app sheet app you've got a root folder and then all of your images and everything are stored with a folder file path from that root folder and so this uh, argument this parameter for this script right here is the id of that folder okay so put that there uh, and then the file path, literally just drop in, like I've got this image column, boom, just drop the image column. If you had a file, this would be the file, whatever it is, this is what you would need, you would put it here. Um, and then I've got a couple of conditional parameters that I've included here. So these bottom ones, uh, the first one is delete empty folder and the bottom one is logging. So. Um, I've built some verbose logging into the script, which you can turn on and off by putting true or false inside the logging argument. Um, if you turn it on, you'll be able to see, you know, it informs you exactly what's going on all along the, all along the chain. Um, it can be a little long. That's why I've turned a, a little verbose. That's why I've turned off. I've turned it so you can do true or false for the logging. The other one is the delete empty folder. Uh, this one is uh, something that I just kind of added in after the fact, the idea being if I delete everything in the folder that this file lives in, do you want to also delete said folder? Yes or no? So this, these are both Boolean values, be it a true or false, uh, and that is all you got to do. Uh, you can click on this bottom part down here to run asynchronous asynchronous I can't talk that way you don't have to wait for this whole thing to go on you can just delete the record and keep moving on uh, but when you do this this script automatically goes and starts tries to find the folder if it can find the folder it looks for the file if it can find the file it deletes the file if you turn this delete empty folder thing on if that's the only thing that was in that folder so now the folder is empty it deletes the folder done if it if it encounters an error along the way there is standard error logging so you can see that there is something amiss uh, if it can't find the folder it will tell you it can't find the folder if it can't find the file it will tell you it can't find the file 
But that's it. That's all you got to do is just come into your automation, make a new bot that's triggered when a record is deleted that has a file or an image that you want to delete. The thing you're doing is you're running a task that's calling a script, that's calling the script file deleter. Make sure you get the starting folder, feed it the right file path, set your arguments down here, and you're done. Happy days, everybody. Let me know if you have any difficulty implementing this, and I will make another video like this to help smooth things out. If you would like to get access to this, you can head on over to patreon.com slash multitech. Access is just 10 bucks a month. I've got a few other things that I've got going on there, but if you would like just access to the various tools and resources that I've accumulated over the years, 10 bucks, happy days. That's all I got for today. Thanks for being a subscriber. If you're not, subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you in the community. Cheers, everybody.